So I just want to share my story a little bit. Um, some of you have heard it. Uh, those of you that didn't see our Facebook Live, shame on you, but it was pretty awesome. So um, I did share it there as well. But my why is my family, right? Josh hit on that is, is I get to spend time with the kids. And we've got five kids. And I was raised like pretty much everybody in here was just go to school, get good grades, get a good job. And someday, someday, if you're healthy enough and you do all the good things, you might get to travel and go to the Caribbean when you're 67 and a half years old. Um, we decided that was not going to be the way that we were going to live. Uh, the first time that we landed on St. Croix in 2016 on our very first cruise, we rented $20 beach chairs from a bunch of beach bums from New York and paid them $40 for the chairs they paid $20 for. And it started to kick into us a little bit as far as there's a different way to live. Like I'm, you know, we, we fought to get here just to spend this one week that I was granted permission from my oh so gracious boss to leave for a week and spend some time with, with my wife and, and, uh, and get away from the dealership. That's what I did for 14 years, worked at a Ford dealership, right Ben, go Ford. Um, so, so that's what I did for 14 years. Uh, if anybody knows anything about the car business, it's a lot of hours. Um, you know, the schedule on doors is one thing, um, but when the GSM is sitting in the office is another, you're there an hour before you open and we are not, you know, Walmart, we don't get to tell all the customers to bring their purchase up to the front desk because we're closing the door. So we'd spend a lot of time there. Um, at a little get together, actually, Ben had reminded me that my post when I finally did leave my W-2 was that my children never asked me how much money we had. Kids never cared. They've never once in their life, they, do they have any idea whether we have money or whether we don't have money. What they cared about was whether daddy was gonna be home for pizza night on Wednesday night. If I was gonna be able to get out of the dealership before they closed so I could be home with them. They cared if I was there for story time, which yes, we have an 11 and a 13 year old and I'm fortunate enough to still read them stories at night. They've just, the books have gotten different. Um, so I, that was my why, and it was strong enough for me to make, make big changes. Looking at the change that was gonna need to be made, you start thinking, I need to replace my income. That's, that's the first and obvious step is to, how do I replace my income? And we, we've tried to flip a house, so I don't come from a, a real estate background at all whatsoever. We did one, and that was enough. It was no fun. <laughs> Sitting in a, uh, a, a little meetup, a, an REI meetup that we were doing, um, I actually was sitting next to Scott and uh, complaining about this one house. And after my entire family put in a year of hard work, uh, we rented it and sold it eventually. And I think we made like $40,000 for a year's worth of work for our entire family. I instantly knew I wasn't going to scale that and that was not going to replace my income. I made very good money at the dealership. Scott says, have you ever heard of self storage? What about self storage investing? I said, buddy, I've never even rented a storage unit. Know nothing about storage. So look up Mike Wagner's name. He's a good guy. He's local. He knows his stuff. So I don't do anything with that. Don't take the action. A few months go by and I find Mike Wagner's name on bigger pockets. And I reach out to him. Hey man, we met. It was awesome. Saw you at the coffee club. Love to, love to sit down with you. He says, wrong dude. I wasn't there. I'm, paraphr I'm paraphrasing. He was, he was nicer than that. But yes, he uh, pretty much, no, you didn't, but check out my website. Um, <laughs> So I did. And, uh, you know, they say uh, analysis paralysis, right? I, I took a long time. I was not sure what to do. Again, I didn't have a big real estate background and I, and I had this job that took a ton of my time and I devoted the rest of it to my family. So I didn't have a lot of extra time to, to learn these things until he walked into our dealership one day. I see his name pop up on our CRM. And I tell my salesperson, go, go ask that dude if he's the storage rebel. Sure enough, he was. So I did not sell him anything that day. I just went over and picked his brain. And um, it, it started to feel like it was meant to be, right? And we have these moments in life. And you've got to be open and ready for these moments. 